I woke up in the morning to go to school, and my mom was in the kitchen on the phone with the 911 dispatcher. And I walked in, and she's crying, and uh, mm -hmm. paramedics come, and they take him out. And I have a split-level house, so you have to go down the steps to get to the front door. And I remember him, like, winking as they pulled him out into the uh, ambulance. And I remember thinking in my mind, I was like, that's, that's probably it. Hmm. Like, that's probably it. Like, it's just something hmm. unsaid. And they didn't let me go to the hospital because they thought I was too young mm -hmm. or what have you. And so the next day, I just wanted to keep it normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the next day, obviously, everybody's bringing food. Yeah. And all these other people are grieving the loss. And I remember everybody was grieving. I was like, I kind of have to hold it together. And so it wasn't really for about five or six years that it really just all hit at, the, at one time that he was gone mm. and not coming back. Yeah, you were repressed. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, not anymore. <laughs> now <laughs> no. I just look at the picture and I'm like, ah! <laughs>